Hello there, this is just a quick update. I just wanted to say that I've been walking the Penang Way and boy, <laughs> what an ordeal really. It has been a freaking ordeal. Um, just because I was COVID unfit, like many of you guys are. And so um, I went on the trail with the mentality I had when I finished the Scottish National Trail back in October. And boy, what a disaster. So basically, I aim at doing 40, 45 kilometers. I wanted to do 50, 55 too. <laughs> so after the, on day three, I already got a few blisters. But then on day four or so, my feet started to be in pain. And man, so it took me a while to understand what the hell was going on with my feet. And it's just that I couldn't take the mileage. They were completely out of shape. So my body, physically, I was okay because, you know, I was training in London, sort of training because I can only go for an hour, an hour and a half and not even every single time. But um, I was putting 25, 28 kilos in my backpack. So physically, I was okay, a bit out of shape. So here we are in the Penang Way, day one. And boy, after COVID break, so to call it, I'm so out of shape. I put some weight on, like maybe four kilos by now. And this is killing me, man. <laughs> but I'm enjoying it. Uh, I mean, look at the views. But you know, um, after days went by, I started to, to get good sensations. But the problem were my feet, man. Oh. So I arrived yesterday and man, my feet, really. Um, I, I don't know. The hike has been around the pain in my feet, suffering every single freaking day I've been suffering. I've been in pain. It's, it's been horrible, really. It's been an ordeal. I'm going to title the, the movie My Penine Way Ordeal because that's what it's been, a freaking ordeal. I've suffered every day and I've hated my life, really. And the only reason why I didn't quit is because I don't like quitting. So I just endured and I took in the pain and I just kept going. And I guess that's why the freaking name of the channel always forward. So I honored the freaking name and I took all the pain and I just went forward. And um, seriously, I mean, I don't know if it shows, but look at me. I'm completely wasted. Uh, look at my Santan, really like, it just has been extreme. My feet weren't ready, weren't in shape for the for the trail, any trail basically for the for the mileage. And on top of it, by the way, I wanted to make a movie. This time around, I took my camera gear, so that's all new for me. Adding like two two point five kilos, um, if memory serves. But the thing is, um, so the conditions were sort of ideal. You could argue, like just sunny, and. I didn't get a single freaking drop of rain in the entire trail, not one. So as a result, first everything like the earth and everywhere I went, you know, the, the ground was compact because it was dry. So everywhere like tarmac or whatever it was, it was like tougher than in general. I never got any water sort of refreshing my feet, only here and there a little bit. Um, water sources, man. They were non-existent, horrible when it comes to water sources. Imagine you come after putting that mileage, super thirsty, and you have around 600 milliliters of water and you just drink 200 milliliters when you want to swallow the fucking bottle, even the plastic. Well, that was me now, you know? Here, I have pee number one. I don't know if you'll get to see it. It's fucking pee, you know? Because you can drink your pee so many times. I mean, so much so that if you watch the video when I, when I publish it to the end, you will see how extreme the freaking water situation was. It was freaking extreme, really. Um, but yeah, the summary is, it's been a freaking ordeal. I was completely fed up of going up and down the freaking hills, up and down the hills, and when you're not going up and down the freaking hills, you're going up and down the styles. So this is the third one of this shit style gate. It looks a lot wider here on the 
platform, but it's super narrow. It's just to give you the bare minimum to fit your backpack. And it's just the third one in 150 meters. I mean, seriously, look, look at this. Look at this, man. So, and then your backpack hits son of a bitch. As you walk out, your backpack hits here, you know, because it's too f damn narrow. And like there's one, two, and three where the house is in literally 100, 150 meters. This is what this trail is about. Just private land and borders and, and all this, all this shit, really. And very little mountains, very little real outdoors. All you see is fences and gates and styles and walls, you know, to tell you that this is private. And it, everywhere is written private, private land, private footpath, private everything, private the Man, what a pain of a trail, to be honest. And I, I, I thought it was boring, like boring landscape, very little wow thing around, you know, like, seriously. But all in all, it's been a, an experience, a, a, like a very painful one. <laughs> Seriously, it's, it's been horrible. As I think I suffered more. I told my wife, I think I suffered more in this hike. I think I did 12 days. This freaking hike gave me more pain and suffering than all my freaking hiking entire career. And I'm not kidding you. It's been since the morning until late in the day just suffering with the freaking blisters and the pain and the skin that was like you know the moment i put my my uh, running shoes in the morning like literally 30 seconds later my feet were like damp and sweaty there was something about the skin it was dry and when i was saying about the conditions all the freaking sun relentlessly on my face day in day out day in day out and then at night freezing with temperatures below zero like it was like a freaking desert you know super hot during the day with the fucking sun on on you and then super freezing at night man i, I was like am i really in england <laughs> so yeah but regardless i managed to finish it uh, it took me a lot a lot of uh will you know and what else yeah so i'm going to start editing the video uh, tomorrow probably i'm still in pain like my feet are still in pain Um yeah i don't know don't know what else to say i don't like waffling so there you have it so yeah expect a video um maybe in a week or two because today i spent the day pretty much uh looking at the footage i have and so it took me quite a while just, just to watch it so then i have to go through my sound recorders, recordings and edit the video, add music, uh, maybe some color grade and whatnot. So yeah, um, anyway, this is it. This is just, today I didn't even set up the whole thing properly as how I usually do. I just wanted to to throw this video in and just to let you know that yes, I did the pen and way and say so you're gonna have a video coming soon. All right, so um, I hope you all are enjoying the less restrictive COVID rules and and that's it. Before I forget, uh, I wanted to thank all the people that helped me finish the trail. I don't think I could have finished this trail in these conditions without the help of these lovely people I met on the way. There are too many to uh, name, but um, seriously, um, I hope you know who you are and I already thank you. But I thank you again publicly and you've all been great and awesome man. Thank you so much. And without your help, I don't think I would have finished this really. It's, it's not the help itself. Sometimes it's just the, the morale boost. Yeah. And what's your name? Antonio. 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 Hi, Antonio. You guys? Yeah, Daniel. Daniel. Martin. Martin. Two yeah. brothers. Two brothers. So just act as if there's a picture and then I will freeze the frame. Okay, jeez. Jeez. <laughs> Happy days. The, um, the encouragement, the, I don't know, the, 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 just having someone that is helping you, it just feels good, like this humanity touch thing. If you're planning to do a hike, um, I don't know, it's just really try to go around your city, wherever you live, and put some good mileage, a couple of days before you set off. 
um, because um, or otherwise don't be as freaking stupid as I was because I was aiming at doing at least 40 kilometers per day and trust me my feet couldn't take it and I still pushed them because I wanted to do it this way and <laughs> don't be so silly trust me it's not worth it you don't enjoy the trail and you suffer and it's not worth it it's just so cute to me you know like why don't you have an ibuprofen to to help you dealing with the pain call me a week if you want to but I think that's what I'm going to do afterwards anyway Thanks for watching and see you soon. Take care, bye.